So you went live on Facebook and now you would like to cut out some of those parts that just didn't go so well in your live stream or maybe you wanna cut out that beginning countdown or whenever you flubbed or maybe you did a record for the replay and you wanna delete all of the extra parts. Whatever the reason might be in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you use Facebook's editing tool to trim your live streams right from the Facebook interface. Hi, my name is Desiree. If you're looking to grow your business with better social media and content marketing, take action now. Hit that subscribe button and that bell below. Now, if you're going live on Facebook, you wanna make sure that it's a part of a very effective content marketing strategy. So make sure you grab my content marketing planning worksheet that I have for you down in the description to help you integrate live streaming and other parts of your marketing into your plan because a content marketing plan without a goal is just gonna be a plan to fail. All right, let's head over to Facebook. I'm gonna show you how to edit a live stream. When you're editing your live videos in Facebook, you're actually going to be starting off in Creator Studio. You're going to select the page with the live video that you want to edit from. In my case, I'm going to be using a video that I went live with from my all-in-one social media page. I'm gonna go here to my content library and I'm gonna see all of my posts. So as you can see, I have different icons here that show you the kind of posts I have. So photos, videos, and this one here, which is a live streaming icon. So what I wanna do when I find the live video I want to edit, I'm just gonna click on it, and it's gonna pull up a pop-up window that's gonna give me like the data and the information about this video. What I'm gonna do is go down to the bottom and hit edit post. This is where I can go in and edit my title, add in my thumbnail and all that other good stuff. But what I wanna do is go to the far right and hit video clipping. And so what this is gonna allow for me to do is trim my video down to wherever I want it to not be. So in this case, I kinda want to just trim out my ending because my ending is a um, YouTube shout out that doesn't make sense. Try using Live Pigeon as a way to get more engagement and more notification to your brand for your followers. It's gonna be great, I promise you. If you're Okay, so I wanna make sure that I'm clipping it right here at this 721 mark, okay. And I'm gonna hit add clip, and it's gonna cut it down, and then I'm just going to hit save. Okay, so it has been saved. It will take a little bit of time to update, but then your clip will be chopped up. Remember, you can only do the beginning and the end of your video, you can't like do complicated editing, like take out a big, you know, mess up in the middle or anything like that. But it will help you with your live streams for when like you're doing something at the end that isn't working right or something at the beginning, like if you're trying to like transition in or like have a countdown timer or something like that. Now, if you're wanting to learn how you can edit a YouTube live, you're gonna watch this video I have for you right here. And until next time, I'll see you soon.